Hey everyone, for today's book review, we are going to take a look at Cozy Days, The Art of Ira View. This is a beautiful hardcover book published by 3D Total Publishing. And this book is made possible thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2018. So that campaign is already over and it's so successful that this book is also being sold to the public. So you can actually get this book on Amazon and also Book Depository. I first got to know of Ira View's work on YouTube. So sometimes when I'm watching art videos, I see some of her videos on the sidebar being recommended by YouTube and I would watch them and watch them one after another because it can be quite mesmerizing to see her process. Her work is characterized by the use of strong design, strong shapes, the play of negative and positive shapes, and also her color palette. She likes to use a warm color palette, so that gives her illustration, her characters, her scenes, a rather cozy feel to it, as suggested by the title of this book. So you can see very strong design elements, for all her illustrations. So she is very deliberate when it comes to designing her... Basically, she's very deliberate in design when it comes to drawing uh, whatever she is drawing. So there is always a strong design fundamentals behind her art. So for the first few pages of this book, we see some of her character sketches. All these were done with watercolor. And this is a page of tips on drawing. One of the highlights of this book is definitely for me the text where she talks about her process. So this particular section here talks about her painting process from start to finish on how she would draft out with pencil, test out the colors, apply them onto the watercolor paper, apply masking fluid, paint layer over layers. Her work is very precise. You can see the shapes, oh, very sharp edges. She would use wet on wet technique as well, but the wet on wet would actually be used within the shapes. So see all these shapes, all these very interesting shapes and the shapes within the shapes and the play of negative over positive. Many of these works, um, I believe, are also on her website. And if you are interested to get prints, you can also buy them through her Etsy shop. There are several lengthy tutorials in this book and they involve creating uh, tools. So for example, with this particular tutorial, this involves making your own watercolor paint using powdered pigment. So the instructions are very detailed. And there are, as you can see, step-by-step -step photographs. And this is a very elaborate process, quite tedious. So when I read through all this, after I've read through all this, I definitely see myself buying watercolor tubes rather than making the paint myself because it's just more convenient and saves me a lot more time. But I review, she is an artist who likes to make her own tools. So it's not surprising to see her make her own paint. I'm not sure if it's actually cheaper than buying tube pins. So these are some of her animal designs. This tutorial, uh, she shows you how to make a sketchbook using your own watercolor paper. And again, this is a very elaborate process because um, it involves cutting the paper, folding the paper, stitching the paper, and creating the hard cover for the paper. And it involves 
pasting the hardcover onto the spine of the watercolor paper so very tedious but i'm sure you'll get a very deep sense of satisfaction from drawing on on the sketchbook that you're making yourself so this gallery is on buildings notice the color palette and notice her design this book really inspires me to think more about design about using positive and negative shapes for my own uh, artworks for my sketches and she is a very productive artist very popular artist as well she has close to 1 million followers on her instagram page and she's also very popular on her youtube channel as well now these are some pages from her sketchbook her sketchbook is where she would do color studies where she would play around with color mixes before she attempts to paint the detailed illustrations on those uh, loose sheets of paper that's the uh, artist by the way she has a very long name i shall not um, mispronounce her name her name is actually at the back of the book for the fear of not pronouncing her name correctly i shall not i shall just call her i review and this last tutorial here this is on how you can make your own watercolor paper stretcher and this involves using two pieces of wood cutting out a window so that you can paint your watercolor work within the window this is uh, quite a lengthy process to make your own stretcher but i can see how useful this is this is basically to prevent your watercolor from buckling when you use um, water on watercolor paper even for 300 gsm watercolor paper sometimes they still buckle very beautiful illustrations here this is a wonderful book i really love her use of strong design in her illustrations the use of very recognizable shapes the play of positive and negative shapes and also of course her color palette so i highly recommend this book this is officially priced at us 35 dollars but i'm sure you can get it cheaper on amazon and book depository the links are in the video description below those are affiliate links so if you buy through those links i actually earn some money at no extra cost to you so thanks for watching today's video see you in the next one bye